Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to be exploring the Google Map block from Order. And we will begin from the WordPress editor, and I'm going to add a quick title. Then we can go ahead and add a Google Maps block. So once we've added the block, the first thing we need to do is add a Google Maps API key. And if you don't have an API key, you can click on this link to find instructions on how to get one. And this is an official Google resource. Also, keep in mind that you'll need to enable both the Maps JavaScript API and Places API. So once you get your key, you can copy it, then paste it in this field and click on the Save button once you're done. Once you've saved the key, you should be able to see our Google Map. And if you take a look on the right hand side of the page, you should see our block settings. Now, if we access the Style tab, we will be able to select from a number of different map styles. This can also be done by clicking on the style icon on the map itself. So here we have the same styles available. In the Location tab, we have options that let us change the focal point of the map. Right now it's set to a place in Barcelona, but we can change this to a different location, such as Madrid. And by the way, you will not be able to access this function if you do not have the Places API enabled. You can also drag the map to change the location. By doing this, the coordinates here change as well. They can also be edited to change your map's location. Now, if we go to the Positioning and Zooming tab, we will be able to change our map type by selecting options from this list. This can also be done by accessing the map type control on the map itself. You can turn terrain on or off or go to satellite and turn labels on or off. So let's go back to the standard map without the terrain. Okay, so the next option lets us adjust the map's zoom level. And you can also do this on the map itself using the zoom controls. The next option will let you adjust the map height by moving this slider. And this can also be done by moving the handle at the bottom of the map. You can only drag it up or down. We can use the controls tab to turn map controls on or off individually. So as an example, I'm going to turn off zoom control by toggling this switch. And we need to click outside of the block to see the change. So that was just an example. I'll go back to the control panel to turn it back on. Okay, so now we can minimize this controls tab and move to markers. So here we can add a custom marker to the map by clicking on the add marker button. And now we can pick a location. So let's use Getafe. I hope I pronounced that properly. So we can see the updated coordinates for this location at the bottom here. And now we can move on to add a title. So I'm just gonna call this test. We can also add a simple description like example. And now we can scroll down to change the markers color. Let's choose yellow, then click on the add button. Now, if we zoom out, we should be able to see our marker on the map. It should be south of Madrid. Okay, here it is. So now you can zoom in to adjust the marker if you need to. A marker can also be added by clicking on the pin control on the map. So click to select a location, give your marker a title, add a description. Here's a simple one. And then you can select an icon color. Now we can click on add to view it on the map. And we can also click on the marker to view its details. If you want to remove it, click on delete marker. Now we can move on to global settings. The only option here lets us add our Google Maps API key. Now the rest of these tabs are not unique to the Google Maps block, but you can use their options to further enhance or customize it. So finally, we can take a look at a few more map controls. We can go full screen by clicking on this icon and we can press escape to get out of it. And we can click and drag from here to access our street view function. So here it is. So I know the street view icon did not render in the WordPress editor, but if you were to go back and preview or publish this page, the icon would definitely render properly. So here's our Google map. We can see our custom marker at Hetafe and our stickman icon is now rendered. So now you know how to use the Google map block from order. Thank you for watching.